My name is Spencer O'Brien. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm a snowboard slopestyle athlete. Leading into Sochi was one of the hardest years of my life. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis about a, two months before the games, and I had struggled with that illness for about the seven months prior, but I was undiagnosed. There was one point where it was so bad that I literally couldn't put my feet on the ground to get out of bed. It was so painful. And I, I felt like an 80-year-old woman. And now, everything you read says you're the one to look out for. Yeah, going into Pyeongchang, I just like, kind of feel like I've got nothing to lose. I feel like an Olympic medal would be a beautiful cherry on top of my career, but it's so amazing for me to see this young group of girls coming up right now. Tell me a little bit more about where you're from, because you're not from one of the big cities. So I'm from a very small island off of the northern tip of Vancouver Island. There's one streetlight and about 900 people live there, I think. I'm a quarter native. Being one of the, one of few First Nations Olympians, um, yeah, it's a little bit of out of pressure, but it feels good to be uplifted by such an amazing community. Spencer O'Brien looking good. What's this last jump? Backside 720. Spencer O'Brien putting it down with authority, and she is happy with that run. My older sister Megan was competing and snowboarding before me, so I really followed in her footsteps. And I mean, I sucked. I like got last at every contest. But yeah, I, I, a big part of my success is owed to my family and the support that they offered me. Slope style is a really exciting discipline to watch for the spectator because there's lots of flips, lots of spinning, and some pretty good crashes. Um, it's also really cool to see people link multiple tricks throughout the whole course. 